So basically, uh, this farm has been in 20 inch rows since about 1996. Um, back in those days, uh, I was at the, uh, I was an agricultural agent and I did a lot of on-farm research at the Monroe County Farm and I had two planters that were built to compare 20 and 30 inch corn and then I did a lot of work with uh, Marion Calmer with 15 inch corn and we basically studied what they were studying at the university but at the universities they were using Kinsey planters which are excellent planters but they had uh, 15 inch inner plants and because they were using a four or six row planter just about all of the uh, rows that were 15 inch rows were driven on by the wheels of the planter and so some years you would never see a change in the yield if the planting conditions were optimal often if you looked at the university research the corn silage yields were always better in 15 inch rows than 30 inch rows because the crop made it and it, it grew but it was sometimes stunted by being driven over and so it would produce more dry matter but in grain production oftentimes because that crop was stunted a little bit in its growth at the start it did not move all that dry matter production into an ear so it did it into the to the silage but not into an ear and so university studies often showed an advantage to corn silage but not to grain and uh, when they started doing more research with 20 inch versus 30 inch rows and rather than 15s and 30s the university data did show an advantage because they were able to get the wheel traffic in a way that it didn't drive on the road so that was why we chose 20 inch rows is because um, we can control the wheel traffic so even though we don't have small tires on the tractor they're 18 inch tires and the tread is probably 16 inches and that way the tires are all set up on the tractor such that the row is actually in between the tires even though it looks like we're driving on the row or not and so therefore we're always conscious of that when we're planting that we are not hopefully impacting that plant zone when, the, when we're planting. We also try to use low air tire pressure. We try to use tractors that are not overweighted and um, try and be conscious of the compaction issues that could occur at planting. So we found a five to seven percent yield increase con consistently in our work. The last year I ran a trial was in 2005. The, uh, there was 21 bushel advantage to 20 inch rows over 30 inch rows. Um, we also found more advantage in the lighter soils than we did in the heavy soils. So, so we've stayed with 20 inch rows on our farm um, over the 30 inch rows because we feel that it, it's a, a definite economic advantage to us.